Alright guys, c Tankin back here again. Um, I did originally have an intro to this video, but my SD card cracked, so I was only able to save um, a majority of what I did have filmed, and part of what was missing was my intro, something in the middle, and then my outro is actually gone now too. So, um, this is the intro. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. I had a blast filming it all, and uh, obviously doing it. So, stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, got to my house, um, just got off work and skated home pretty fast because it's late and uh, we're just trying to get to Huntington soon uh, so we're not there super late so yeah let's go Guys, so that is Dallas is OBS right there, and uh, the place is parked right over here. We just woke up, and we are going to head out to uh, the Donuts and Derelicts thing. Uh, he lives right down the street from it, so it's pretty dope. So yeah, we're gonna be on our way. Pulled up to Donuts and Derelicts. Dallas right back here. Um, now, John is right over here. Alright guys, me and my little brother are walking over to get some donuts. Hi Brandon. So we're gonna get some donuts, head back to the trucks, and uh, walk on the show a little bit more. Should be fun.
chilling in the back of the blazer. And, uh, you know, met up with a couple people. Um, known as 183 Hampton on Instagram. It'll be in the description. Uh, a couple other people. Everybody's Instagram will be in the description below. And, you know, just having a good day today. Don't know what we're gonna do afterwards, but I'll see you guys along with us, so let's see what goes on. Alright guys, we are done with donuts and derelicts, or donut derelicts, whatever you really call it, not too sure. But um, I got some good clips I think, and we're gonna go head out and get some breakfast with John Oro. Uh, he's in his son's truck right in front of us. So we're gonna head out, go eat, and then after that, head back toward home and do a couple little things with the blazer. And then that'll be it. So see you guys later. Alright guys, so we just got to Johnny's garage. Um, as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff going on in here. Uh, we got prom queen right over here, as you guys can see, with the LS inside, the professional products intake on it that I'm actually going to be running on my truck. So it's pretty cool to see it on a different truck. And then over here, he's got a bunch of LS's over here, uh, all varieties from 4.8s to 6.0s and stuff like that. And this one right here, actually, this one, that's uh, my motor. It's gonna be, that's my 4.8. Um, the transmission is somewhere around here in the shop. But yeah, so we, we're gonna get that cleaned up soon and then paint it. I wanna paint it all black just to keep the engine bay nice and clean looking and uh, mostly factory, except for obviously their motors are normally orange, but I'm just gonna paint it all black because I like the way black motors look inside these trucks. So yeah, I'm just gonna look around a little more, show you guys something and we'll go from there. So here's the LS swap that he's currently doing right now. A um, bunch of stuff going on in here. That, and he's got a bunch of wiring. Um, here's another blazer right here. My dad's blazer. Ooh, what's this? Clean little Nova. Then over here are actually Johnny's trucks. Sorry about the music in the background. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it or not but that's kind of like a church or something that's near the shop. But here are Johnny's trucks, actually. Buttercup. Uh, Buttercup, he took his SEMA last year. Um, you know, super clean truck, it's fast. And yeah, I'll show you guys more of that right now. And then this is actually his daily. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but a lot of people don't notice this. It's actually a short, short bed. It's shorter than the normal beds that come on these trucks because it's like a foot shorter, I think. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I really like this truck. Nobody probably pays attention to it, but I like the truck a lot. So I know you guys have seen this truck in my videos before. He's got all this little carbon fiber stuff throughout the truck. Uh, interior is super nice. Big old LS inside of it, US mags, 
thanks for everybody. It's all nice, man. So, yeah, we're just gonna chop it up a little bit, talk, and then head out soon. So, see you guys later. All right, we're about to go for a ride in Buttercup. See what this truck's really all about. Uh, I've ridden in it once at the get down, just around the parking lot, so I never really got to feel the true power. Hopefully we do right now, though. Oh, we got harnesses in here. There's a bunch of cars. If you want to do burnouts and go fast in an old truck, <laughs> just put a little 6.0 in your truck and you'll be good. <laughs> All right, guys, that was a ride. Thanks, Johnny. Yeah. I'm officially afraid of LS's now. <laughs> All right, let's get on with the day. All right, so we are working on the prom queen right now. We're actually taking out the inner wheel wells so that this truck can lay completely out because of its new revamp with everything on it. 
uh, with the new Acura system on it, the new Endo tanks, um, as you can see there, running Acura. So we're just doing that right now, and that's pretty much it. This is called cause and so it's called cause and effect. You lower the truck more, now you hit the inner fenders. So now we got to make clearance. Yeah. So these were in there. Are you putting new ones on, or what are you doing? Uh, actually, we're probably gonna have Lolo uh, make me a setup. So that's the idea. But right now we want to get it down so we could uh, see how low it's gonna go down. See if maybe. Uh, that cross member will hit the ground. Nice. So Lolo Metalsmith, uh, he's got the truck hammerhead. Um, I'll insert a clip of him revving it right here. <laughs> So he's going to be doing the inner fender and like he said, he's just going to mock things up right now and see what exactly is going to happen to suspension, suspension and stuff like that. Alright guys, so like I said in the beginning of the video, I had lost my outro, um, so it kind of seems like it cut off there, but we just headed home after that, got some food and then that was the end of it. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, I know I had a blast doing it all, shout out to Johnny for giving me a ride in his truck. Uh, John Rowe for uh, hanging out with us for the majority of the day and you know everybody that was involved uh, Check out everybody's Instagram down below or if you saw it on the screen um, But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed please like comment subscribe and turn on my post notifications and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace